Executive actions. Crowding into a corporate elevator in the sh on a shadow run is risky. You're exposed, vulnerable, and t but time is of the essence, and the CEO's office is 50 floors up, with the Baron on your back, in theory, and the Baron has your back, in theory. Light, blanderized music floats softly through from hidden speakers as you make your way up the James Telestrian's office towards your objective, a sample of Project Aegis. You need to find the sample and get out before the Baron loses control of the tel Telestrian mainframe and all hell breaks loose. I can believe that. Here we go. Up and in. Trying not to over overextend myself here and get myself in trouble again. That might be it. That big shiny thing looks like my fucking ticket. But I can also guarantee the they know I'm here, seeing as there are large flashing exclamation points on literally every surface. So, gotta be a little bit careful. Doesn't seem I have to be that careful, though. AP. Okay, we'll take a five minute break. We did sort of dump you out last time. Let's. Oh, wait. Where's my other program? Did I lose it? I don't, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Jump in there. We're just gonna chill here. No problem. I'm just going to take these guys myself. I'm not going to summon my, summon my other program. Maybe I will have to, seeing as I can't hit these things to save my ass. There we go. For real, though? I'm just going to stand here and take the hits, I guess. There's our company. Now they're coming. Is that it? I don't want to get into a slap fight with these guys and get my ass killed, so we're gonna we're gonna heal up with one. And then we're gonna turn the cameras off, if that's cool. And then we're just gonna chill here for another turn. Bop back to reality, perhaps. Empty some bullets at some man, bad, bad men. Or let's empty some bullets at some innocent, but on the wrong side of the law, man. All right. Switch to your pistol. Which I still haven't reloaded. Fire a couple of times. Nice shot. All right. Let's get over here, and then we can sort of defend ourselves. Oh, they're coming in from that side? Okay. And let's definitely get over there. Ooh, four dudes? Alright, let's move on. Can we heal again? No. We're just gonna take another turn. I really don't want to die, especially with how much we need him. So we're just gonna chill, and then we're gonna just end our turn. Um, then you're gonna stay right where you are, Mac. And Kylie, you're gonna go right here. You're gonna reload your pistol for free. And then you're gonna just chill. And you're gonna reload your rifle. We might need to auto fire. All right, here we go. Coming through. There we go. Okay, heal again if you would be so kind. Just to medic yourself. Beautiful. All right, 
and let's go. And there's a nice Papillon. Papillon. See, I like this because when you're in the Matrix in the game, normally you get a couple of turns uh, before other people get to move because time in the Matrix goes much faster. So it's kind of neat that they're sort of making it here. Note of concern. At this point, we cannot confidently assign a motive to Miss Telerasterian's hire of Shadowrunners to destroy the company's Columbia River facility. But there are two leading contenders. Most likely is that she's working for a rival mega corporation seeking competitive advantage, but an alternate explanation is that it has something to do with her deep involvement with the Universal Brotherhood. While well, Telestrian Industries, of course, would never interfere with her empo uh, <laughs> employees' religious choices, our 2053 investigation raised concerns that Miss Telestrian's devotion to the bro cult-like Universal Brotherhood could represent a security risk for the company. Yeah, that's probably true. Let's keep shooting you slowly. Okay, I think it's time to summon our program buddies. Um, execute some attacker. It's definitely gonna happen. And then we're gonna execute some defender too. I do not want exploder because I don't know how he works and I probably just want to not have that happen. <laughs> Jan is not into exploding. I hope that's okay. Ooh. Boom. Nice job, boys. Really not that concerned about them. I should be, because they're important. But they're programs. Let's see here. No, Dodger, you just sit still for a minute. here get the fucking kill it kill that guy all right then you have a skill that reduces alarm yeah which one is that suppression yeah can we do that let's do some suppression oh it requires three all right fine sit on your ass for a turn we'll let our boys finish some stuff up Nobody coming through the door? Wait, let's set the... I just figured this out, like, over. Watch. Let's do that. Anybody who comes through that door, we fucking ice them. Alright. Dude, you're gonna do your suppression thing. Mm, yeah, I guess just move over there. There's not much I can do. Okay, then this guy's all charged up, so let's try to ice this one. Alright, and you can move over there and still make a shot, so let's do that. Shit! Yikes, when they are charged up, they are nasty. Alright, finish these guys off. Nice, alright. Attack program, you just chill over here. Are they not coming or what? Alright, whatever. Five days ago. 
The runner's attack last night managed to blow up the whole damn facility to bits. It had teams starting through the rubble all morning. They haven't found any of the Project Aegis material. The sample I sent you is all that's left. This is a mess. Lots of people are dead, and the building is a total loss. Call me to discuss what you want to do next time. Okay. Probo. Try something different. Um, can we heal our programs? Yeah, we can. Alright, cool. And go on through. You know, I'm astounded at how much I suck at hitting things. Because, I mean, I'm flipping a coin 50-50 chance, and I am just not ever, ever hitting them. Ever. You guys doing anything or what? Nothing? Okay, great. Well, guess what, Dodger? You're not gonna die. We're gonna go put you over there in the fucking corner. And we're gonna let our big boy program handle all of this. Go over here. You just sit on your ass and heal in next turn. Come on. Hmm. I really don't want to put this guy in danger, but I'm really getting running out of time here. Start with you. Finish this guy off. Nice. It's funny that line of uh, line of sight is important. In the holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Oh, damn it! All right. Heal yourself up, buddy. That was not good. Um, not good at all. I'm also just sick of these guys being over here. Let's go fight them. Real life is so much simpler than the Matrix. Back over here by the kid. Let's see, do we have a healing kit? Nope, she doesn't have any more healing kits. Do you have any more? Nope. Alright, well, just end your turn. Chill for a minute, and then I will use a healing kit on you. Try it again. Use it on this kid. Oh, I can't? I wonder, wait, what? Hold on. Advanced med kit. Yeah, use it on this kid. Oh, do I have to be right right next to him or what? Right, I don't know if I can. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, right next to him. Try this one more time. Is there a chance that we can use that on you? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Good. All right, then. Um, kid, jump back in the Matrix. We need you in there. Just do it. Celestrian Decker right there. Deckers here, Jesus Christ. Alright, well, here's what we're gonna do. Make some programs right next to you. Be 
because if I leave these programs right here, whatever, whatever. Why are you... How can you heal yourself two turns in a row? I can't do that. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Fuck you. Get. Out. The Matrix. Go. Outside and look at the trees. Oh my god, every turn. He can just heal, he can just heal himself every fucking turn. That's great. So good. Uh, okay. End turn. Yep, out of the matrix. Out we get. Burn him a little bit more. Rest a turn. Get your shit. Get back in the goddamn matrix. Sick of you. Alright, kill that guy. There. All right. Toast. Then let's just move on. Let's go, 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 go. Fast as we can. Got the cameras turned off. No problem. They haven't figured that out yet. Can I do the thing where I lower the alarm state? Is that going to help? Not much. Oh, but still maxed out in here. They still know I'm here. Okay. Um, let's go straight this way. Okay. Almost back to where we were. him and shoot him as hard as you can thank you all right now did he really is he st okay never mind he's still good can we heal him up can we do give him some more drugs we don't have any more health kits. Oh my god. Alright. That's so not good. Alright, well. We are in a corporation, so. Alright. Mr. Telestrian, in light of the recent attacks, I've relocated the only remaining sample of Project Gaius to a safe in my office. The safe is hidden. The safe lock is a mechanical and thus not at risk from making Matrix Decker attacks. Currently, Eric Silverstar, Director of Security. Cool. Well done, Monami. It happens oh, it's, it's on this very floor. About time a little good fortune came our way. Make my own luck. Say it now. Stop those elevators. I'm sure an accessible node in the system can find it. Okay, let's do that. Run up next to it. Punch it full of holes. All right. What? Fuck. Fine, I'll just walk in a big circle. <laughs> My bad. I like how they allow us to keep both games going and you sort of bounce back and forth. It's really a nice little mechanic, but it's really annoying when my people on the ground have nothing to do. So. Eighty-four percent chance to hit, and he cannot hit the broadside of a barn. I miss Johnny Clean, man. I miss Johnny Clean. I really do. I miss.
this journey. All right. Do, 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 do. Nobody in the Matrix can do shit. One more turn. Dude is almost dead. Nice, no more guys. All right, get out of here. All right, let's just dump. Let's get out. No problem. All right, end our turn. Okay, we're looking for a dude's office on this floor. Elevator is over there. Oh, there it is. All right, let's go that way. I need to, let's go to here. Solid, solid, solid. And then let's go through here. Pull it back down here. Book it, book it, book it. Chance again. Ah, this is new. What? What's new? Apparently, Sir Sylvester's reputation for paranoia is well founded. This panel is hard coded to control. Cannot be accessed from the Matrix. It was not here yesterday. How could he have it installed so fast? So, what now? Many would think of something. Very well. Cares you, and only you, to stay the night. Let my attention go on. Find the elevator once again under our control. Goes to the empty parking garage in safety. Your hired help will be able to clear the building with ease. You, however, will be Telestrian's newest employee come sunrise. Now let me tell you where to go. Holy shit. Alrighty. You hunker down in the janitor's locker room amid the smells of industrial strength cleansers, floor wax, and body odor. Sleep is impossible. You must be cons constantly on your guard for the telltale sounds of security teams or building maintenance crews. Morning eventually comes, and with it, another chance at Project Aegis. All right, good morning, Monami. You look well. All right. Get to Given Mr. Sarah's paranoia about security, we could not get into his office in a straightforward manner last night. However, thanks to mayhem you created in your floor, the situation is ripe for exportation now exists. All right, right for right for yep. While you waited here, I continued to probe, looking into some of the less secure, more mundane Telestrian office files. Shipping records indicate that Mr. Silverstar recently took delivery of several paintings he commissioned after he took was promoted to VP of tele, Telestrian Security. The shipment was called Our Values. On the same day, Building Maintenance reported installing artwork in his office at the same time a piece of equipment purchased from Fuji Corp. Well, they obfuscated its use. I believe it is the safe. And the sample is in the safe. He's personally conducting an investigation on last night's break-in. He's interviewing personnel who may have pertinent information. You need to be one of the personnel he interviews in his office. Once you are inside, you will need him to leave so that you can find a way to get a sample. So I can tell him I have the evidence to get inside his office for an interview? Close. You will plant evidence of your own creation. There are three matrix emergency power junctions on this level. I've added, uh, if we add some comlink chips to them, it will make last night's run appear in preparation for a larger run. It will bring the attention of Telestrian security. I can handle it, but I need to get away. Oh, there's a janitor's uniform. How am I always a janitor? All right. There's a janitor's uniform, ID badge, and comlink chips in the locker. They will get you general access to allow you basic inspection. The rest is up to you. The only one more thing. Mr. Silverstar is well known for his creative security measures. You should do well to learn as much as you can about this man before meeting him. Now quickly, and I will unlock the door. This run is just going so goddamn south. Ugh. All right. Uh, we get <sighs> G 
Supervisor is look of a stuffer shack manager. Delusions that he's on career track. Rather than he is a disposable dinosaur and some research. Hey, you there. I'm Steve Scott. I'll be your direct supervisor. Sorry I missed you when you first came in. Um, I only just found out you were starting an hour ago when you suddenly showed up in the system. Weird glitch or something. Normally, we'd wa have you watch an, in an orientation trade and walk around the mission statement, but it's going to be hard on you for your first day, but you're going to have to clean up a lot of uh, some blood. Maybe a lot. I can handle it. Just tell me what to do. You'll have your f hands full. There was some sort of break-in last night. People were, um, just get things cleaned up on this floor. And listen, people are going to be on edge today, so try to stay invisible and don't get into any trouble. Otherwise, they're going to call me, and I'm going to have to reprimand you and put a note in your file. Sounds good. We'll get to those orientation trids another day. Hope they get whoever did this. Only a fool would attack Terrestrian corporate office and think they can get away with it. Start heading from room to room and clean what needs cleaning. Good luck. Great. Alright, I want to talk. I don't know if I should talk to people or not, but I'm gonna. Forge access will only expect. Alright. No problem. Hey, this is where I shot all those people. Sweet Telestream tech worker. Tech Jackie turns to. Your notice a panel has been removed from the land racks behind him. Thanks for coming. Can you believe it? Silverstar is calling it an intrusion, but I know it's the aftermath of a shadow run when I see it. Start over in the corner and make sure you don't get any solvents on my servers. It's okay. I get it. Never get straight dope around here. I get it. Silverstar was already here, hounding me like a matrix tech. Would have stopped a decking intrusion. Now I've got to execute a full diagnostic on the land racks before he comes back for his security report. He told me this would be a good opportunity to just demonstrate this Celestrian torpid value of efficiency. I think his investigation is going to pin this about, or is going to be about who to pin this on more than finding answers. Easier. All right. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Go have a smoke. Go have a cigarette. First chip done. Done. Alright, two more to go, I think he said. Let's not deal with the guards until we have to. Spent all morning shooting their friends in the face. At this point, it's not looking good. I don't know what happened. Unless our records show this terminal was left unsecured in direct contravention of Telestrian corporate policy. You have failed in your duty. I know it's duty above all for you security types, but I'm the victim here, I swear. Perhaps when Mr. Silverstar gets his next promotion, that will become a value to you data pushers as well. Right now, it seems like your values clock out early and ignore your responsibilities. Don't go anywhere. I need to make a full report to Eric. Wow. This place sucks. Which <sighs> life is on edge? Turning basically a trumpet's head. So you're in some real trouble, Trummer. Buzz, unless you can clean up Shattered Career, leave me alone. Come across some items that might help you out. I doubt it. I doubt it, but who said life isn't fair? Me too. I used to be in accounting a few floors up. Took too many drinks at the Christmas party and look at me now. I didn't want this to happen. I mean, who, hell, who, what? Security's bullying you. I could make it look like your terminal's tampered with and no one would be the wiser. Just do it quick. There you go, buddy. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Get out of here, you elf. Alright, um... Hmm... I can't believe he thought that I was in accounting. Boom. More karma. What we got here? 
Is that the... Uh, what the... F I can't do dick with this. What's going on? Come on. He'll touch it, but he won't do it. Oh, whatever. We're done here. Let's just go. Okay, that's the end of that. We don't need that elevator. I guess we gotta go talk to the guards. Hoo -hoo -hoo, here we go. You know, I'm much more at ease when I'm shooting people. Filthy guard is looking at an open vent. He's clearly not enjoying the idea of climbing back up the deck. Sorry, I tracked the deck out the far. He shakes his head. Man, I can't believe what happened to the Night Watch. From what I can tell, it looks like our guards got hit pretty hard. Yeah, they've been chewed through those guys pretty good. They must have been pros. So you think you're done climbing in the vents, Chummer? I need to get this room done before I get in trouble. If anyone asks, you saw me in here, okay? Yes. Two men are staring at the vents, shaking their heads. Look, Raul. I know that you... I know You know there's nothing in the vent, but when I told that to Silverstar, he accused me of not wanting to crawl in there. He said it was getting in the way of <laughs> displaying torpid value of duty. Suits sure love their mission statements and all that direct, but today isn't the day for Telestrian Corps. Duty above all, all crap. Severus did the ultimate duty last night. I guess I'd just be happy Mr. Telestrian isn't in today. Just get in there and take another look. I've got to go upstairs and report. Oh yeah, get in the duct. Get in the duct. Then I can go and fuck with this, tamper with this thing and get out of here. Yeah. Alright, cool. Place it. Good deal. Okay, so we've got a couple of corporate do babies. And then what do we what do we need to do? Plant What is there left to do? Don't blow your cover, find the Aegis sample. Okay, well. Can I go upstairs now? Hey, I found all these chips in some of the Matrix switch boxes. Is that important? Uh, <laughs> guard thinks for a moment, then activates his comma. He turns his back to it and has a brief conversation, then turns back. Mr. Silver wants to see you in his office immediately. Nice. All right. Um, we're going to stop here just because this episode is getting inordinately long. So I will catch you guys next time. Probably won't be able to play for a couple other days, but uh, we'll see what we can do. All right. See you later, buddy.